Joni Mitchell, known as one of the best songwriters in music, had a highly celebrated and influential career. Mitchell's approach to music struck a chord with many female listeners. In an era dominated by the stereotypical male rock star, she presented herself as multidimensional and conflicted, which allowed her to build a powerful identity amongst her female fans. But unlike other artists who have continued their work as musicians and still release new albums like Paul McCartney and Neil Young, Mitchell was forced into early retirement. Joni suffers from an extremely rare disease, so rare it's not even recognized by the medical community. Join us as we take a look at this rare condition, its controversies and misunderstandings, to see just how and why it's ended the career of such a great of the music industry. Joni Mitchell's One of the Greatest Songwriters Ever Joni Mitchell is a Canadian singer-songwriter born on November 7, 1943. Her unique sound, which drew from rock, pop, folk, classical, and jazz, was heightened by her songs often reflecting on social and philosophical ideals. Within her music, she would often muse on her feelings about romance, womanhood, disillusionment, and joy. She asserted her desire for artistic control throughout her career and still holds the publishing rights for her music. Throughout her career, Mitchell has received many accolades, including nine Grammy Awards and an induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997. She was called one of the greatest songwriters ever by Rolling Stone. She started her career singing in small nightclubs in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and throughout Western Canada. This led to the nightclubs of Toronto, and in 1965, she moved to the U.S. and began touring. Several of her songs were covered by other folk singers. This allowed her to sign with Reprise Records and record her debut album, Song to a Seagull, in 1968. Her 1971 album, Blue, is looked upon as one of the best albums of all time. In Rolling Stone's 2003 list of the 500 greatest albums of all time, Blue was rated 30th. It rose to number 3 in the 2020 edition. In 2017, NPR ranked the album number 1 on a list of greatest albums made by women. In 2002, Joni Mitchell was awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 44th Grammys. Joni Mitchell Suffers from a Rare Disease Joni Mitchell has long suffered from a rare and little understood condition called Morgellons disease. It's the intensity of this uncommon disease that caused the singer to stop performing, recording, and traveling in recent years. It was in 2010 that she first opened up about her battle with Morgellons. She described the condition as a weird, incurable disease that seems like it's from outer space. When Mitchell described in more detail, it left her fans shocked and concerned. She said of the disease, quote, "...fibers in a variety of colors protrude out of my skin like mushrooms after a rainstorm. They cannot be forensically identified as animal, vegetable, or mineral." In 2014, Mitchell discussed further about how this alien-esque disease had impacted her life. She explained how she can't fly without feeling the consequences. The furthest she could go was from the U.S. to Canada. This would push her to being sick for 10 to 12 days due to the heavy metals and viruses in the air of the plane. Her immune system was delicate, and even jet lag was hard to bear. Mitchell opened up about how she couldn't wear clothing. She was unable to leave her house for several years. There'd be times when her legs would cramp up, leaving her having to crawl across the floor. Hey, if you're enjoying this video and want to see more content like it, click the like button. And remember to subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Morgellons is a medical controversy. Joni Mitchell was able to find help through a physician that thought way outside the box. While not curing her from the disease, they were able to help her live with it. Morgellons is a controversy within the medical community. It took until 2002 for the disease to be named. Pennsylvania lab technician Mary Lytow named the condition. According to sufferers of the disease, fibers grow from lesions in the skin. This is potentially because of tiny parasites. Crawling sensations, extreme itching, mental fog, and general fatigue are also named as symptoms. The broader medical community still does not recognize it as a disease, despite sufferers uniting behind groups like Morgellons Research Foundation. This lack of recognition has led to there not being many reliable numbers on sufferers. Despite this, it's believed initial outbreaks seem to cluster in California. In 2012, the Center for Disease Control released a report on Morgellons and claimed to not find the disease to have infectious or environmental causes. 
It's been referred to as unexplained apparent dermopathy, which means a psychosomatic condition. All biopsies of affected areas came back either negative or positive for skin conditions like dermatitis. One problem that has been acknowledged by the medical community is self-diagnosis. This is due to many patients who self-diagnosed with Morgellons are often treated for delusional parasitosis. Delusional parasitosis is the delusion of being infested with parasites. The argument for Morgellons being a psychosomatic ailment is substantiated by the fact that the disease's rise is directly correlated with the rise of the internet. When a patient self-diagnoses, they can easily find online support in the Morgellons communities. Finding others with the same self-diagnoses inevitably lends credence to their own experience. This can get multiplied when rather than accepting a doctor's professional diagnosis that there's no medical cause for their symptoms, they'll seek the comfort of those suffering the same thing. Due to the ongoing stigma of mental illness that still occurs today, many people refuse to accept such a diagnosis. Skin Deep, a Morgellons documentary. Released in 2019 over streaming services, Skin Deep, The Battle Over Morgellons is a documentary that challenges the belief that Morgellons is an issue of delusion. The documentary follows a nurse who squares off against a dermatologist as they fight to discover the truth behind the controversial disease. As evidence linking Morgellons to Lyme disease mounts, this documentary poses the question, who is delusional, the patients who believe or the doctors who deny? Lyme disease is a bacterial infection that can be spread to humans by infection infected ticks and is usually easier to treat if diagnosed early. Joni Mitchell's struggles continued. It was in 2010 that Joni announced her plans to leave the music industry to work towards giving more credibility to people diagnosed with Morgellons. But in 2015, she suffered a brain aneurysm rupture. This required her to undergo physical therapy and included taking on daily rehabilitation. Since the aneurysm, Mitchell's first public appearance was attending a Chick Corea concert in LA in 2016. She followed this with a few other appearances. In November of 2018, David Crosby announced Mitchell was learning to walk again. Mitchell has recently approved a number of archival projects. This included the documentary Both Sides Now, live at the Isle of Wight Festival, 1970. It includes restored video footage and previously unseen interviews with Mitchell. There's also been the release of a separate program featuring the complete concert uninterrupted. In 2018, Mitchell released an 8LP vinyl reissue of Love Has Many Faces, a quartet, a ballet waiting to be danced. A limited edition blue vinyl edition of Blue followed and was released in 2019. She attended the Joni 75, a birthday celebration concert in L.A. in 2018. Selections of that night's performances were released on DVD along with a separate CD release. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you believe a disease like Morgellons, which has been able to end the career of such a musical great, could be a psychological illness? Or does the medical community owe it to the victims of Morgellons to investigate more to get more knowledge about the condition? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.